What's up, my friends? Action figure junkie, back with you with another custom action figure made from Marauder Task Force parts and accessories and the smallest fraction of a pit of Hasbro thrown in for good measure. Uh, this being a um, custom modern updated version of Night Force Shockwave. I already had uh, the Shockwave that I based on the original blue SWAT team member, who was one of my favorite all-time all -time favorite Joes from 1988. And then I believe one year later they came out with the, uh, the Night Force version, which his colors were slightly different. And uh, some of the G.I. Joe uh, figures, the Night Force versions, were the only ones I ever had or the ones I liked best, such as like Lightfoot. Lightfoot came originally in a, I don't know, like a, a bright green and yellow. Oh, boy. And then they put him out uh, a year later in brown and black, and that was just way more cool and tactical. Well, with uh, Shockwave, I, I loved both of them equally as much. Um, if maybe this one just a smidgen more because he didn't have uh, weird shapes of yellow camo on him. <laughs> I did without that when I made the, uh, the updated version, so I did without any camo on this one. This one I went with the color scheme as close to the original Shockwave uh, Night Force as I could. So we went with uh, the gray and black body from Marauder Task Force and the, uh, the olive green tack vest. Which seems like a strange combination, but that's how the original toy was. That's how he looked as Hasbro made him, and I loved him. And once I made this figure, I, I love this one too. I don't know. Green on gray? Hey, why not? Hasbro wasn't always trying to go for the most uh, realistic things. And frankly, neither do I. I'm not really all about the realism, as you can tell in my videos. I try to go for... Uh, that old school toy feel that I, that the warm and fuzzies I got as a kid, I get them now, only in a, in a 40 year old body. <laughs> so let's break it down. What do we got here? Shockwave, Night Force Shockwave, based on the original from, I believe, 89. Um, two sidearm 9mm pistols. The original Shockwave had pistols on either leg, and I decided to copy that. Pig sticker down there by his uh, right calf. I think that looks pretty good. And then um, uh, some uh, shotgun shells. Let's make this go a little faster so you can see. Shotgun shells, and I decided to throw a tack shotgun on him. Whoa, whoa, slow down. <laughs> I decided to throw a tack shotgun on him um, in case he needs it because it seems like a very SWAT thing to have. Some uh, flashbang and uh, concussion grenades on his back like any good SWAT trooper probably would have in their possession. And then I modeled the vest on what the original Shockwave, the Night Force Shockwave had, if you can see. Oh, and I love this, uh, this, uh, I think it's a Hecker and Koch or an MPK, you know, old school, old school, like 80s, 90s SWAT team gun. They still use them, like a lot of military services still use the same gun in a modern version. It's such a great, reliable gun, 9mm bullets. And I'm going to share a little secret with you guys. Hopefully the, 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 the copyrights won't get me for this. As you're watching this, as I'm making it, it is now Christmas time. It's December. And I had to watch one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies yesterday, Die Hard. And if you listen closely, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say any more. I don't want to get this video taken down. And they use that weapon a lot in that movie. That's kind of the... That's the first uh, weapon he gets. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. So, uh, yeah, sh uh, Shockwave has it too. Now I went with the black mask, gray hat. You see it? That's how the original Night Force Shockwave have. The original uh, blue Shockwave was a blue mask, blue hat, one color scheme. This, I think, pops a little bit better. Different color uh, hat on the mask kind of looks uh, cooler to me. So it's hard for me to tell you which one is my favorite. I think they're both awesome. It's just kind of a shame they can't be in the same place at the same time. <laughs> they can't exist in the same universe. Uh, I think if they touched each other, they would both implode, or at least that's what uh, the classic Jean-Claude Van Damme movie Time Cop taught me. That if uh, you touch yourself in the future or in the past, you'll both like turn into some kind of a, you know, the house from Poltergeist. You'll completely uh, dissolve into yourself. We don't want that. We don't want our shockwaves dissolving into themselves. Boy, I'm just a pop culture reference machine tonight, huh? Well, that's my uh, Shockwave. A little dry brush painting, as always, to give him a little wear and tear. It's not terribly easy to pick up on these videos. 
see the pistol holster. But I do that on all of my figures, and I'm not, you know, I don't go crazy with it because I don't want them to look like they literally just fell out of a building. I don't need them to literally look like John McClane at the end of Die Hard. I just want them to show like they've been around the block a time or two. And that's that. The only piece of uh, Hasbro on him is actually that shotgun. I got that in a, I want to say a three pack of Outback, uh, Lieutenant Falcon, and a Shooter, I think. That was Lieutenant Falcon's shotgun. But I got rid of almost every single part of that three pack to make Marauder Task Force bodies. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. You got any questions, please feel free to ask. Like and subscribe, as all the YouTubers say. Find me on the socials. I'm everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, shit, I'm even on Tumblr and, and, and uh, Snapchat. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, in parting. yippee ki mother...